Hello and welcome on my glass. Tyler, I'm an optician here at Sport RX. We get and see a lot of questions around high index. And so I'm trying to tackle those quickly and efficiently, a little FAQ style. Right now we're talking high index versus polycarbonate. And this is a pretty good one because I think that it can make sure people get into the right lens material for them and their prescription. By the way, just right off the bat here, we have opticians here at Sporter X who are very friendly and extremely knowledgeable who would love to help you with one-on-one -on -one to get you in the right thing so you can always use us as a resource. But here's some information for you. High index as a lens material is designed for catering to stronger prescriptions. That's really what it is based on. If you have a stronger prescription, you've almost certainly heard of high index. And that's why it was recommended to you because it will make them cosmetically nicer. How? Well, it will make them thinner and you probably will hear that it will make them lighter. But here's the deal with that. It makes sense logically that it would be lighter because there's less lens material because the lens is thinner. However, the lens, high index lens material is denser. That's the reason that it's able to get to be to a thinner state is because it interacts with light differently as it passes through the lens. So it actually kind of doesn't make a big difference weight wise. I would say that, and actually, as I learned uh, about this, I did a little bit of a study in different lens materials, which you should check out as a fun video, uh, comparing all the different lens materials with different prescriptions, that the weight doesn't really make a big difference across the board. The other thing to note about high index lenses is it is a more premium lens material, so it is pricier. When it comes to polycarbonate, it is kind of the standard, the industry standard of lens material. I usually say if you have glasses in prescription and you don't know what the lens material is, 80, 90% chance that it's polycarbonate because it is extremely available. It just is relatively inexpensive and it is top of class impact resistant, especially good for kids. If you have kids that wear prescription, they, I would say almost 100% have polycarbonate, if not Trivex, very, very impact resistant. Another thing to note about polycarbonate is its Abbey value. The Abbey value is a chart based on all of the different lens materials and its associated optical clarity. The value given to it, the higher the number, the better the optical clarity and polycarbonate is on the bottom. Not the best optical clarity, but still enough for being an optical lens. So it is very, very common. And like I said, extremely available. You have virtually no limitations on features that you can get of your lenses. Just about everybody works with polycarbonate. Also very affordable, which is why I said it's the industry standard. You can find it everywhere and anywhere. That pretty well wraps up the difference between high index and polycarbonate. I probably could have gotten more nitty gritty, but I think for the purposes of the vast majority of people out there, that is all the information that really is pertinent to you. If you are still interested in more information around high index lenses, I have some other relevant videos that you should check out, such as what even is high index, some pros and cons of the high index lens material, do high index lenses cause distortion? And also I compare 1.67 versus 1.74 high indexes. I also did that comparison of lens materials uh, in terms of actual practical thickness. You can check that one out too. That was pretty fun. I did that last year uh, when I was shooting videos actually from my home. So check that one out. Hopefully you like that. If you feel compelled to start browsing, which why not? You should stick around for a moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And also if you're ready to order, don't forget about Sporter X. Definitely don't forget about our see better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You actually have as long as 45 days with them. Yes, even if you get them in prescription to figure that out, we just want you to be happy. That's all that matters to us. And so we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. And also, like I mentioned, we have opticians who are very friendly and extremely knowledgeable who would love to hear from you and help you get it right the first time. So you can always use this as a resource. We love hearing from you, so why not? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like, because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you are ready to start browsing, click this button right here. If you are looking for more content to consume, as we all are these days, we're always on our phones. Check us out on our social media outlets. I think you'll like them. You can find us at our handle at SportRx.